Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss with you about what is desktops. So let's start with my brief introduction. I am Farah Gul with 8 plus year of experience in software testing industry and I am IST QB certified test manager. So today I would like to discuss with you about what is desktops, what is the traditional software testing model, what is desktops model and what are the required skill of desktops engineer. So what is desktops? Uh, desktops is basically a combination of testing and operation like devops is the combination of development and operation. In the traditional software testing model we have test we run this test for the system under test we have test result and tests are pass or fail and based on this pass or fail criteria we assess the quality of our product and now time has changed and millions of online transaction happen every time and uh, we have facebook we have twitter we have google and we have amazon in example in which millions of user use one feature in one minute so we have a new role desktop specialist and uh, desktop engineer after devops enter in this uh, software industry so we need to um, improve our skills uh, testing skills plus our devops knowledge so what are the requirement of this skill i will discuss it in uh, in upcoming slides first we discuss about what is desktop model says Desktop model says that instead of just uh, uh, assess the quality of product on the basis of test pass fail, we um, ident identify uh, KPIs and patterns and we define for our application. And on the basis of KPIs and pattern, we assess the quality of our product. And we use three approach to collect the data. The first approach is expose user and system. In this approach, we deploy the latest build only for the subset of data. We pool data and collect this data from the subset of user, analyze this data, estimate and make decision on basis of this data. The second approach is the production user and system in which uh, we use the continuous monitoring dynamic tools like Kibana and Crashlytics and we watch our production environment and we collect data through these tools and these tools uh, display data in the form of chart and table and we collect this data and we analyze this data and make decisions what uh, application uh, is but is the quality of application and production environment and the final approach is this, uh, is the old approach in which we execute our manual or automated test cases for the impacted areas and uh, we analyze this um, result of test execution and make decision about the quality of the product now we have three method the first method we deploy application only for the subset of user and we collect some data from it and then uh, second approach we use some continuous monitoring tool like kavana crashlytics and other tools and the third approach is test execution either manual or automated and we have data from three different sources we collect this data analyze this data and on the basis of kpis and pattern we identify the quality of our system so what is the continuous approach in the devops we have uh, five phases first is continuous planning that is not showing right now in this diagram and then we have continuous integration continuous validation is basically continuous testing when we have continuous delivery and continuous monitoring and as a testing we have uh, we should have a knowledge about all these continuous phases the first in the in the continuous monitoring you can see we have synthetic and semantic monitoring what is this synthetic and semantic monitoring Synthetic and semantic monitoring means run a subset of application automated tests against the live production environment on a regular basis, and this subset of application automated tests belongs to highly critical area, highly risk based area, or the most used areas of our application, and we define um, that these automated tests run on production environment either weekly, daily, based on your system. health 
so what does test of means it doesn't mean we uh, shift our role from testing to the devops we don't need to create or maintain the devops infrastructure it is developed by the devops engineer we need to integrate our testing work with devops in infrastructure we should have a knowledge about devops infrastructure we need to integrate our automated test with development team for continuous integration we need to decide which test to run and when either we now we have staging environment we have production environment we have different uh, we need to identify automated test tools that run on periodically we need we should have uh, we can analyze or uh, investigate the data that we get from the different continuous dynamic continuous monitoring tool test of is basically a unique aspect of software development process automation in qa it doesn't uh, we need to adopt change we don't need to uh, remove our role so invest your time in continuous improvement and focus on uh, problem solving don't focus on tools analyze where we can speed up the testing and automate this process incorporate quick win approach so why should we need to learn test of skills what do we want we want to deliver a better software product and when do we want it we want it continuously so in this diagram i i can so see that we need speed and quality at the same time because if we are late in the market with better quality we also lose customer and if we are quick in market with poor quality we also see fa a failure so uh, in this uh, era we need to achieve speed and quality and quick wins in this uh, era but with better quality so believe in yourself embarrass changes in software industry for achieving instant quality product this is my message and uh, i thank you for listening this video if you have any question you can ask me thank you goodbye